what was kind of your mindset to kind of settle everything down and, and get back into it? Well, I think to answer that one, like, I don't think I, that we wanted to settle things down. I think we might've been too settled down to start that game, even though things were a little funky with Graham, um, getting those two early fouls and, and Malda being out, but we felt like we were maybe just a little bit flat and, you know, for whatever reason, you know, what, what happened happened. Uh, but I think that gave us a little bit of fire. We made that early run that first kind of five minutes after and kind of settled into it. The crowd was amazing at that point. I mean, for, for them to step up and get as loud as they did. I mean, that, that really just kind of pushed our guys over the edge, but with this group and you guys have seen it all year, um, they're so resilient and they're so tough and they play for each other. We talk about it all the time. And for them to go in that huddle when, when coach Linder got ejected and just, you know, like, hey, we're going to go get it done. And we're just going to go get it done. And it wasn't pretty. There was a lot of a lot of uh, not great possessions when we'll go back and watch the film on both ends. But, I mean, it's what we've done all year. We just gritted our way through and found ways to win tough games. Again, Josh. And, uh, oh, oh, go ahead, Josh. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, you know, what, what does it it's say like about Hollywood Graham? Hollywood Squares right here or something. <laughs> you know, what does it say about Graham? Only plays four minutes in the first half in foul trouble and, you know, just doesn't let him phase it. Goes out and gets 20-something points, double-digit rebounds after halftime. It, it says what we've said about him all year. I mean, there's a reason why we always say he's one of the best players, if not the best player in this league. I mean, obviously, our opinion, we're biased. We think he's the best player. But, I mean, he's just a tough kid, and he's just a winner, and he's just about all the right things. And for him to go to the bench in that situation, which has been a, a challenge for him all year, with, with foul trouble, and it's, it's it's tough. I mean, you got guys that, you know, the, the fouls have been an issue for him. It's, it's challenging for him. So for us to have him come back in the second half with great focus, um, to have great feet defensively, to not get fouls, and just to play solid, I mean, it just it just speaks to his character, who he is as a person, as a player. Ken, first of all, congrats on being 2-0 and o as a head coach. Um, secondly, uh, there at the end, you know, last week, Linder said the game plan was get it to EK and get the hell out of the way. Was that kind of what you were going with again? Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> short answer, yes. Um, I mean, we got, we got two workhorses. And, and, and not to say that other guys can't make plays because they certainly can. We've seen it all year. But we know that, that in winning time, uh, an opponent's going to have to pick their poison. Are they going to double? And you got X out there, it's going to make a three. You got Winslow out there, it's going to make a three. Drake made a huge, huge three. And, you know, at the end of the day, late, especially uh, uh, late second half and in overtime, they said, hey, we're not leaving. We're not leaving Drake. And, you know, we're just going to stay with those guys and we're going to ride the workhorses. And that's, that's why they are what they are. I mean, they're, they're special players. Dean really carried them down the stretch in regulation, um, but he was really quiet in overtime. Did you guys do anything different or did they just not get the ball to their best player? You know, we, we tried to just really kind of focus on them those last, those last few timeouts um, and, and in the break between the end of the end of regulation and the start of the overtime. It just, we're not going to let them beat us. And one of the things he did, especially early into the middle part of the, uh, the second half right there, is he really killed us with what we call winning plays. He got a bunch of offensive rebounds or ones that he didn't get, he was able to get a hand on and get it out to somebody else. We said, hey, man, like, Maldo, because Maldo got switched off, to, off onto him or when J.O. was on, I'm like, just – you don't, don't worry about getting the rebound. You just don't let him get it. You know, somebody else is going to have to beat us and go try and make a winning play besides him. Hey, uh, Ken, I guess Noah Reynolds, he's such a dynamic young player. Does he need to slow it down a little bit right now? Probably so, but I mean, that's part of what makes him really good is that he's fearless and He's got a great self-belief and he thinks he can go make plays. And for us, I mean, we don't want to detract from who he is as a person and a player. Um, as he progresses and as he matures as a player and as he plays more, then he'll realize, you know, this is what the tempo is. This is, this is the situation in this game. And, you know, sometimes he's going to get a little bit sped up. But, you know, the other end of that is he also, that fearlessness and that self-belief allows him to go make a play. And, you know, sometimes you just need a guy's just, I'm going to go make a play. And for him, I mean, he's given those, that's that spark off the bench several times. Brendan had a three that almost went down near the end of regulation, and then Drake had one in overtime, and both misses. Graham got the rebound and did some yeah. damage. They're just how big were those offensive rebounds? Oh, huge. Graham I mean, tonight? it's the difference in the game at, at the end of the day when it comes down to winning time, who's going to go make a play? And, and Graham did a great job of finding those guys out of the post when the double came and got them great looks. And then just went on the back end and cleaned it up for him. I mean, it's just when, when you have guys that, that just that just aren't afraid to go win, 
that's when your program really goes to, to different heights. And, and we have that right now. And we have guys that just care about each other.